I on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. This week it is eSwitch, Lady Ada. What is the new product that's coming out this week that's new, that's interesting from eSwitch on DigiKey? I don't think we've done eSwitch before, just really exciting. So uh, this week on IMPI, we're going to cover eSwitch's new, um, I don't remember the part number, it's like TL3310, basically the reverse mount SMT tap switch. Um, this is a pretty neat switch. Um, most people are really familiar with your standard six by six millimeter tactile switch. Um, we use them in tons of projects. Um, they're in like every beginner kit for learning electronics. Um, we've got them in this uh, uh, Raspberry Pi, or, uh, she, sorry, this Arduino shield. You can see at the bottom left, you have a little nav switch and navigation up, down, left, right, and the select and the reset button. Um, so these are really common. They're very inexpensive, only a couple cents a piece. And, um, you know, their users are basically like input. Now, on our projects, we tend to have them be, you know, bare on the PCB, either through hole or surface mount. Although usually they're in a product, but they're hidden behind um, a button caps. Um, so I will mention, you know, if you want just those plain through hole switches, uh, there's like 50,000 in stock from eSwitch on DigiKey. So, um, you know, just because we're covering this reverse mount, surface mount, switch reverse mount reverse surface mount tactile switch um there's also a through hole uh you know um standard six millimeter surface mount standard six millimeter i love this style because of course you don't have to through hole solder it you can just pick and place it uh works great and then um another neat thing that i noticed is there's also reverse mount through hole uh so this in this case um you definitely would need to have some actuator that goes down and clicks it because otherwise like your finger would uh bump into it so this is um you know this is just a demonstration you know usually when you have a user panel the caps would be held by the front panel they would be kind of floating in place um like a, like a game controller and then there would be a little nub that would go down and click the tactile um, actuator itself but the reason um i think that you know these got a little bit of attention just coincidentally is we posted on our blog this really cool project um the list badge and um one of the design decisions this person made it's like a little handheld computer is that the buttons would be um reverse mounted so that you could have the labeling on the pcb so the pcb is the front plate and then the um reverse mount tactile switches poke through and in this case, they used um, surface mount, uh, reverse mount buttons, and they even they talk about it, um, measure, you know, dealing with the thickness of the PCB. And they use this kind of like um, angled mode, so you can see that the legs um, are inter interdigitated, so that uh, they get a, a nice tight uh, packing that's uh, equidistant um, from each uh, digit, so a very good look. Um, so, and then somebody uh, posted on social media, uh, we got tagged in because everyone was like, what is this? What do you mean that there's such a thing as reverse mount tactile switch? And I was like, coincidentally, uh, DigiKey just put this in their featured section. Uh, check out digikey.com slash new if you haven't checked it out because uh, that's where we saw this, um, this reverse mount tactile switch. So this is, I'm going to get the part number, the RT reverse tactile 3301. Um, and this comes in tape and reel, which is handy. The ones we stock in our shop only come in in a bag. Uh, but if you want to actually use these in a production environment, you'll definitely want to have them on tape and reel. You do not want to hand place them. Um, and of course, they're e-switch quality, so they're good for like you know quarter million presses um, or like a hundred thousand presses or more. And um, two hundred. This is a two hundred sixty gram force actuation, so nice and clicky. When you mount them, you know, you you do want to, in this case, the, the PCB layout, I will say that they have, those pads are a little small. I would actually embiggen them a little bit because you want to have a good um, mechanical connection to the PCB in case somebody really presses down because you don't have, the, the body of the switch isn't taking the force, it's the um, solder connect connections. And of course, you're also going to want to have the big cutout hole in the center where the actuator goes through. Um, I will mention in this one that the actuator length doesn't go beyond the PCB. This is designed for, um, again, a, a, a situation where you have uh, actuator buttons um, on the outside, because most people do not design, for industry, do not design PCBs where um, the actuator goes all the way through and is accessible to the user. Having it flush actually makes a lot of sense because then you can have a button pad 
on top that when people press the button, it, you know, it, it presses down and, and activates the tactile switch. Um, and then if you want other tactile switches, uh, do check out these switches, you know, very popular brand on DigiKey. Uh, they've got, you know, pretty much every combination and size and color, lots of surface mount versions in, in different configurations. And like I showed you lots of through hole, uh, surface mount and reverse, uh, through hole as well as this reverse surface mount version. But if you want the RT3301, don't forget they are in stock at DigiKey. On DigiKey. And we happen to have a video. It's a very silly video. Okay. Well, we're here for it. We're here for but it. We're here. We're here yeah. and we're being silly. We're also going to see silly videos about electronics. This is what you show up for for the Raspberry Pi 5s, which there's some still left because this is a live show, except yeah. unless you're watching it not live. And uh, for silly videos about electronics, here we go. Next up, we got a very versatile switch making its eSwitch debut. Let's go to our shouting cowboy, Anthony Variano, for its introduction. Now approaching the ring, making its eSwitch debut, wrestling out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. A top actuated reverse surface mount switch measuring six by six millimeters and featuring a life expectancy of 100,000 cycles. I present to you the RT3301 series tactile switch. The RT3301 series can fly up the top rope and needs just 260 grams of force to actuate. And as a reverse surface mount switch, it can reverse any move you attempt. Don't let its small size fool you. It can last a long time in the ring. It can handle the heat with an operating temperature range of negative 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. The electricity in the arena won't phase it either thanks to its 50 milliamp 12 VDC electrical rating. It comes as a tag team and tape and reel packaging with a thousand pieces per reel, ready for automated installation. It's an ideal match for audio visual applications, computer peripherals, consumer electronics, instrumentation, telecommunication devices, and medical equipment. As always, we recommend going to our website e-switch.com for the complete product page and our full catalog of Switch products. Thank you for watching.